How you doing YouTube? It's Wednesday the 7th of May and um, I've got a few days off this week so we've come out to the Long Mind and when I say we we got Bonnie Bear Hey Bon Yeah you So um, we'll try again the first time we came out together it was a fail um, and thinking about it, it was she was backing out of her harness, and I couldn't afford her running off, dashing after sheep. Um, so uh, tonight we're just going to set up in Pole Bank Cottage, just in there. It's all fenced off, and I think sheep can get in and out of there, but um, she'll still be on the lead. But at least it's a bit more <sighs> better than just because we camped out over there last time and it was a fail and had to come back but this time I've also put another colour on her so she's got two colours on Shh. we'll go in a minute um, it's only quarter to two so I don't really want to be setting up just yet um, so we'll probably take her for a long walk and tire her out so she's not so excitable and into everything and <laughs> we'll see how that goes Hey Bon, see how that goes? Um, we call her Bear because when we first got her, she looked like a little bear. <laughs> it's crazy driving back in this car from Wales with her. Bless her. She is one in July. So, um, yeah, bless her. So, a big bag, bigger bag. I got the, I don't know, the West Highland Way bag. I haven't used it for donkeys, but. So I've got food in there and we're car camping. I've only got to carry it from here to there, so it's not a big issue. So, shall we talk about the elephant in the room? Grown a beard. Why? I don't know. Why do we do anything? Um, I nearly shaved it all off because it's got to that stage. And if you've ever grown a beard, it's you get to a stage where it just itches constantly. And I was like... I can't cope with this itching, but pushed on through. I manned up. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's nice and fluffy now. Um, so I'm gonna, it needs a good trim, but I'm gonna let it just fill out a bit more and then start trimming it, because uh, I've trimmed it once and yeah. So we'll have a go and then start manscaping. That's not a word I thought I would ever use. <laughs> uh. Right, Bon. Let's get your lead on, we'll get out walking and um, catch in a bit. See all the baby sheep. So peaceful. But she's quite intrigued, aren't you, Bon? With the, um, with the sheep. So I don't think I'll be letting her off today. Oh, there's two. You leave them alone. So you should just go after them. Good girl, come on, leave him alone. Just had a face off with a wild pony, didn't you? There she's in the distance, I don't think you'll see her. Come on, good girl, good girl. It's nice. It's not cold at all, it's quite mild and it's, it's rained on the way up here and obviously it's rained here and it's threatening rain. Got the gliding club just over there and they're up in the air. Yeah. It's nice. Try and tie her out before I put the tent up. Is that gonna work? Probably not. But we'll have a go. Got the little lambs. Come here. Leave them alone. You want to go and say hello, don't you, and play, but you can't because you'll scare, scare them and oh. behave. They'll run off hopefully and not be too stressed by us. Did you just stay there? Oh, just stay here. Calling for their mummy and daddy. You behave, come on. So try not to 
causing too much stress as we walk past. To be fair, we do um, teach her to recall from a puppy. This is a, a sheepdog whistle and it takes a bit to um, to blow it. There's a, a kind of special way. But she's had it since a puppy and she recalls quite well with a, a, a treat as a reward for coming back. But if she sees something, she'll go. And we won't get her back until she's ready to come back. That's her instinct, so we just gotta be careful of that. Hence why she's on the lead now. But, we'll have a go blowing this in a minute. So it goes in your mouth like this. I'm trying to hold the dog, hold the camera, and blow the whistle at the same time. Good girl, good girl. Now I've got to get you a treat and reward you. Stay. Oh. I should have opened the bag of treats before I blew the whistle. Good girl. sit. No, no, she's not going to sit, she just wants a treat. Sometimes I'll just put the whistle in my mouth and she'll turn around and see and then she'll come back for the treat Which is quite good to be fair But yeah, she recalls quite well on that So we just finished the a long walk And we just got to where I'm gonna set up now. So we're set up in pole well setting up in pole bank cottage So I've tied the dog off on the fence And what I was talking about earlier is that she backs out of this just in, just in case we forget the name, it's on the side of a leash. Long. Um, so I've put another collar on. What are you biting me for? Um, to stop her hopefully backing out of it and that should keep her secure. So we're gonna set up. You're my eye, bro. Just wanna play, don't you, and get involved. So we're gonna set up here. And we got the the Marge too and the reason I bought this instead of the Acto um, it was forecast rain so I've got the extra vestibule for cooking plus there's a bit more space for for Bonnie to play about in if it is a wet one and I did bring her a chew so if she can chew that yeah while I set up the tent and she's thrown it. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's get this set up. She seems alright. Quite chilled, don't you? Quite chilled compared to last time. Where's your chew? It's over here. There. There. You've thrown it. Farther than what your lead can reach. You're not interested in that, are you? You want the little treats. Anyway. I forgot how big this thing is, it's a flipping hotel, it's a beast. Um, and we got it as a family tent, and it works great as a family tent. But just for me and better, we're going to be spoilt. There is just tons and tons of room. Big vents, cooking in here if it's chucking it down with rain. Uh, another vent in the back, humongous. You probably can't really tell on the the uh, GoPro because the perspective isn't that good but you've got a big vent at, at either end maybe once I got the um, once we got the sleeping bags set up and bear's bed maybe a bit better be a bit better and I think about cooking some dinner it's half free I think I might have a beer first. They've still got concerns though with her, with cooking, obviously meths and flame and uh, also I brought my big Simmat, Simmat 7 long and wide, 
my winter one so we'll see how she gets on with the claws in that hopefully she's not going to pop it what else i think that's about it we'll just see how it goes seems to be going all right so far it's so peaceful and chilled here it's nice really nice chilled eh bon 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 eh chilled <laughs> Right, let's get the rest of this kit in there. Say hello. So I've just given the dog some water. It's got plenty of water there. But with these uh, mats, I've had this quite a few years. The X-Bed, assume that's seven long and wide. It's got a hand pump built into it. Um, but if you just leave, if you just unroll it from packed and leave it for five ten minutes, the foam inside here will fill out and it will give you more, help you to get more air into the mat. Because if I remember rightly, it takes quite a few pumps. It's like giving CPR, blowing this thing up. There you go. So that's the inside of it set up. It gives you a bit more perspective. So with the dog's bed. I bought her a toy so she can play with that. We just got a blanket from um, Aldi and it's quite thick. And we got a old roll mat, cut it up, doubled it over and used some Gorilla Tape, taped it together so that just folds up in the pack. And she's got a double layer of sleeping mat plus the car camping mat and that. She's going to be warming off, I think, well, especially for tonight, because it's only probably going to be about five degrees, if not more. So I'll probably have to open that other vent, because we'll be boiling. The two of us breathing, like, breathing on each other. She seems more than happy enough, and just having a chew. Bon bon, enjoying that? I don't know to let her off or not. There's no sheep in here. And I haven't been up here for years and years and years. I might let her off actually and see how it goes. Because it's pretty um, enclosed with the wire, the chicken wire fence. And I won't let her go down there. So I think. I'm gonna let her off, yeah. This could be a mistake. Let's see how it goes. Oh, it's all right, I'm not gonna take your chew off, yeah. Let's see how that goes. I just stuck the uh, the corkscrew in the ground and stuck her back on the lead because she's getting a bit adventurous and walking quite close to the road, so at least she's got some free rein with that lead extended in the corkscrew. But, well, we're out. I uh, brought another new piece of kit to go with the Transio 27. Uh, so I'm gonna see how it works later. It's, it's heavier, so I don't know if I'd take it up a mountain but it's the um, MSR Alpine frying pan. And it's got substantial, well, it's not too heavy, but MSR. And it's quite deep. It's got a little lip on it. So we'll have uh, a tinker with that later. And the handle fits quite nicely in the Trangio 27 kit. All right, isn't it? So I've got curry, curry again for tea in the food bag. Um, but Barney likes 
um, scrambled eggs. So I brought a couple of eggs and I'll do Bonnie some. What's she doing? Trying to climb a tree? What are you doing? Um, yeah, so she'll have scrambled eggs tonight and I can do them in the pan. Or I could do them in the Trangia pan. I haven't decided yet. But we've got options and that's what kind of Trangia gives you compared to the Jet Boil or the, or the similar. So I quite like it. So we'll give that a play with later. What time is it now? 20 past four. Could do with having some dinner now, but I'll be starving later. So peaceful, there's no wind. It's threatening rain, but we can always go in the, in the porch. If it does, chuck it down, hence bring in this tent. Flipping Goliath. <laughs> um, If it does rain, it's not a problem. It's nice to get out. Oh. We just had a, a quick snooze, don't we? Hey, we had a snooze. So now I'm gonna make Bonnie her dinner. So she's got uh, scrambled eggs using the new pan. So we'll have a go at that. So the pan fits quite nicely on the Trangia. I like these new uh, shovels that I've got. Oh, well, okay. Just got to be careful of that, which is fine. Have I bent them back properly? Okay. Have to be careful of that. And as if by magic, I got scrambled eggs, but it's too hot for her yet, so I have to let it cool down, but she loves it. What I have found with the MSR Alpine frying pan is that it's not very stable. You're going to burn yourself. Not very stable on the Trangia. So I probably won't be bringing this again for the 27. But lesson learned, hey-ho. Not to worry. That's a big thumbs up for the uh, scrambled eggs. Hey, Bon. Right, let's see if I can have a go at cooking mine now. Um, do we use this or just use a Trangia pan? Um, I think I might use this. I'll wash it up first and then uh, we'll give it a whiz. What have we got? We have got. So we have got some oil, which I forgot last time. Although last time wasn't a disaster because it cooked anyway. So onion, garlic, ginger, uh, chicken with the curry. And then for breakfast, we got beans, sausage, and bacon. So I'll get that cleaned up and then uh, we'll get this cooking. So the MSR pan is it? slightly better with weight in it with food in it it's not so um you know it's not moving now i don't know what i was doing before but yeah it's, it's all right you can see <laughs> i've burnt the egg and it's uh well the egg that was on there that i didn't wash off properly has burned but hey ho curry will mask that not a problem so I've got the simmering on. There's lots of bird song tonight. It's about ten past six now. And it's all right. It stopped raining and it rained earlier. It moved everything inside the tent. But she's had her scran, isn't it? Yeah. Bon bon. You going to just grant? Oh yes. So she's fed, watered. It's just mine. 
Bonnie seems quite chilled. Listen to the birds. <coughs> Lying on my lap. Hey Bon. Bon Bon. No, she's not interested. Still cooking. Quite peaceful. I know I keep saying it. <laughs> I'm going to stop saying it. In hindsight, maybe I should have done Bear's scrambled egg in a separate Trangia pan and then not worry about it burning. But this will be alright, I'm sure. It's not going to affect the taste of a flipping. What colour is this? Oh, Madras. That's me being bag. But hey ho, we live and learn. You're on full alert, aren't you? Bon, oi, speaking to you. Oh, don't rain. It could rain. <laughs> we could be forced to move inside. We'll see. Whilst this is cooking away, um, I just wanted to share that for those that haven't got a YouTube channel, then you watch maybe a few of mine or somebody else's you are making yourself quite vulnerable in doing these videos um, in the respect that you're putting yourself out there and you're making the mistakes and okay some people all in my experience in running a YouTube channel some people will appreciate that and value that in you showing your mistakes but other people will just flip and slate you totally slate yeah and that's just life that's just the way it is you got to take the rough with this move and that's something that is I've learned in in you know um, having a YouTube channel also I've noticed that the more likes you get or the more yeah the more likes you get on on your your uploads there'll be a, a percentage of dislikes now whether I don't know what the reason for that is but I've noticed on people that have got like hundreds of thousands of subscribers and their percentage I don't know what percentage it is it'd be interesting to work it out of, of dislikes I mean you're not going to please everybody that's a given um, but it's just an interesting thing that I've, I've noticed having a channel I've been quite quite um, I don't know if the word is, is is blessed but since I've been running the channel I think I've only blocked I've blocked two people and I've reported one because they were just the one that I reported because obviously on the comments you can uh, report them to YouTube, I don't know what happens, what the process is but it's just flipping rude <laughs> it's like if you don't like it why are you watching it? if you don't like it turn it off, I'm not interested in in numbers, I'm just you know out here filming it and that's the way it is I don't do giveaways, I don't, I'm not interested in all that palaver um, but I don't understand the reason to be rude and disrespectful. I don't know. Maybe that's just just life, and you get people like that in society. But there are ways of dealing with that, and obviously you can you can report the click button. And I think that automatically um, blocks them from your channel. And then other people. I think the biggest. The biggest stick I get is from the Barma fishing trips. Um, yeah. <laughs> I can't fish. Um, but I'm going to leave them on there because it's, it's part of the channel. You know, the channel's kind of growing and evolving. And, well, hopefully. 
Nothing stays the same, does it? But I'm going to leave them on there. And just be respectful to the people that leave comments that aren't, you know, that positive. Because I think that's important. But if, if you're rude and I'm going to start swearing, then I'll just block you. It's not a big issue, and then, do you know what I mean? But other YouTubers who put uh, uploads on there will know what I'm talking about. But, um, and I'm waffling on. <laughs> A few sherbets and talk for England, but yeah, that, it's just an interesting thing that's popped up. Uh, so yeah, quite quite vulnerable. And I think the more videos you do, the more conscious you are of of what you're filming. Not so much of what you're filming, but when you come to edit, because I could fill this camera up and probably only upload half of it, because I know I realize i waffle quite a lot um but yeah it's <laughs> she's looking at the geese flying over there somewhere but yeah that's all i gotta say about that and we're done slowly cooking bears over there on guard hey bear hey born the dog's settled but she's nowhere near her bed. Her bed's flipping under here. There's a bed. But maybe she's... She's warm enough where she is. It's not cold. I've left the lead on because I don't want to... Dash, you know, under the fly sheet. Look at that mess. Just because I get a bigger tent, I get a bigger mess. It feels weird in this tent because I've just got so much space. I'm not used to it compared to the Acto. <laughs> but he loves me Acto. Where's fresh air? Don't you win, Bon? Eh? If you come alive at 10 o'clock tonight, I'm not going to be best happy. Right, I don't know if you can see me, but um going to call it a night. It's uh, 25 to 9, it get dark at 9, so I'll see you in the morning. Good night, see you in a bit. Good morning. It's 25 past 6. The uh, birds are up singing. Didn't sleep that great. Um, because of this one. Wouldn't sleep on her bed, so she was quite restless and quite cold, well say quite cold but I put the blanket on her and my coat on her and she was alright and then she made her way onto the mat um, and she's been here since it must have been about two o'clock she come on the mat but um, she's on the lie in like she does when she's at home yeah so think about getting getting up not a bad morning. Bit of mist up on the trig point. She's got a got a brekkie, but she's uh, not touching it yet, which is normal for for her anyway. But yeah, that worked well when she um, when she moved on the mat last night. And obviously she was keeping me warm as well. It wasn't that cold. So I think that's how we'll do it. In the future. Unless I get a roll mat and put it in underneath the car mat. So she's insulated. But I think she's happy to sleep on there. <laughs> Tent's a mess. <laughs> Tom, is it? 25 to 7. I think I might just pack up actually and have a slow drive back, beat the morning traffic and get this one get on the line and and aired out. I think camping in the Acto with that is going to be a different story. 
and I don't know if I'll be able to take her up a mountain because there's a lot of kit but we'll see we'll see should we pack up? should we pack up? what was that? that sounded like something dying right, let's get packed up so there we are all packed up as always, leave no trace let's get you back to the car oh your chew's still there, you want your chew? you know, playing it don't you? I'll put it in your bag alright, so that's us all in all, not a bad camp that um, for a first night out a first one was a total wipe out just didn't work but this time it's worked and I think because we've put two collars on her because she can back out of this Julius we found but with the the neck one I don't like having the neck one on because it's at home she doesn't have anything on but it helped and it worked just until she gets a bit older and chills out a bit who knows if she'll chill out Right, that's us. Uh, so we'll call it a day. Until the next time, take care and God bless.